Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and today I'll be using the Pollen Ranch Herbe de Provence Pollen Spice Blend to make this delicious citrus roasted turkey. Now, the day before Thanksgiving, we'll want to get the herb butter ready. So in a small saucepan, I'm going to put in two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of olive oil, three tablespoons of the Pollen Ranch Herb de Provence Spice Blend, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of fresh black pepper. And then I'll take this over to the stove, place it on a medium heat until that butter is melted. Now you will want to put this mixture in the refrigerator overnight, but what this does is it lets the butter and the oil start to soften those herbs, and that will be delicious on our turkey. I'm going to be roasting my turkey in a large roasting pan, and I have a rack that I'm going to put in the center. I've taken my turkey out of its package and I've rinsed it in cold water. I'm going to put it right on the rack and then I will take some paper towels and pat it dry. I'm also going to place the neck and the giblets in the roasting pan underneath the rack. Then I'll take two oranges and cut them into slices along with one large onion. Now before I put my oranges and onions in the cavity, I'm going to put one tablespoon of the Herbe de Provence spice mix into the cavity of the bird. And then I'll put in my onions and oranges. And then I'll tie the legs together with some butcher's twine. I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees and I have just the bottom rack in the oven. I've taken my herb butter out of the refrigerator so that it can soften and now I'm going to put it on my turkey. I'm going to begin by putting my hand in between the breast meat and the skin. I'm just going to sort of pull that membrane apart. As you can see it makes a big pocket here. I'll take a handful of my herbs and I'll place that right underneath the skin rubbing it into the breast meat and then I'll take the rest of the herb butter and I'll rub it all over the turkey. Now I'm going to take a piece of foil and cover the turkey. Now I'm going to place this in the oven. I'm going to let it bake at 400 degrees for 20 minutes and then I'm going to pour two and a half cups of my broth into the pan and I'm going to use a wooden spoon to scrape up any brown bits that are forming on the bottom of the pan and I'm going to let this roast for another 40 minutes at 400 degrees. Then I'll turn the oven temperature down to 350 degrees. I'll remove the foil and add another cup of broth into the pan. Then I'll put the turkey back in the oven and let it continue roasting for about another hour and a half, depending on the size of the turkey. Figure about 12 minutes per pound. And here's our beautiful turkey. You'll know the turkey is done when a thermometer inserted into the thigh registers about 165 to 175 degrees and the juices are running clear when you pierce the turkey. I'm going to transfer the turkey over to a platter. I'll tent it loosely with some aluminum foil and let it rest for about 30 minutes. Now for our gravy, I'm going to start by making a cornstarch slurry, which is three tablespoons of cornstarch mixed with three tablespoons of cold water. And I'm going to stir that around until the cornstarch completely dissolves. Now I have a little colander here. I'm going to strain the juices out of the turkey pan using a spoon to kind of press any juice out of those solids. I'll throw these away. Now I don't want to use the fat at the top of the juices, so you can either spoon that out or use a gravy separator like this and just get the uh, drippings into a four cup measuring cup. And then I'm going to use enough broth to make four cups of liquid. Then I'm going to place this in a large saucepan. Bring the pan over to the stove and over a medium heat, I'm going to slowly add the cornstarch slurry to the broth and I'll bring it to a simmer. And once the gravy is thickened, make sure to taste it for any additional salt and pepper. This citrus roasted turkey is a great addition to any Thanksgiving dinner. Be sure to check out the other Thanksgiving recipes featuring the Pollen Ranch Spice Blends. They're a great way to add amazing flavor to your cooking.